I'm Kenyatta A.C. Hinkle. I'm an interdisciplinary visual artist, performer, and writer. For me, a lot of my work is about retrieval, retrieval of historical facts, because these aren't things that you're being taught in school. And oftentimes, the history is taught by the victors about the victors. And so finding myself in that situation, I'm always trying to retrieve and learn more and more alternatives to what is just force fed to you. I have this whole theory that a culture can never be truly erased. There's always some type of residue, uh, dreams, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you think about certain things, that just because certain things have been disappeared, it doesn't mean that it's not there. I'm actually using, this is a bad word, but my intuition <laughs> to actually retrieve certain elements that I'm constantly told are lost. And so in a lot of my work, I'm working with photographs that were taken in the late 1800s, early 1900s, but for me, they're just as relevant today as they were back then. I just really think that we can't move forward until we deal with the ghosts of our past. Right now, I'm working with an idea that has been haunting me for the past 10 years. Uh, it's a series called They. I'm taking these postcard images and drawing and painting and cutting and dissecting them in order to create a whole new visual context. I'm trying to shift the gaze. Instead of us consuming these women's bodies, they can now stare back at us. When I'm working with a lot of these archives and these photographs that were taken of these West African women and their bodies are taken out of context, I also feel like I'm retrieving them from their intended context and allowing them to speak for themselves. I'm interested in seeing what happens. I really didn't come to terms with the subject matter of my work being more intense and all of these violences until about 2014. It was just the way that I knew how to work and what I wanted to talk about. But now I understand it in a, in a very deep way. And I know this about myself. And I said that, you know, I've just decided to let my freak flag fly. It's a political act for me, a lot of these works that I'm doing and working with these archives. This way of working in terms of accessing one's intuition is very uh, taboo in a Western hegemonic art canon kind of way. Even getting ready for this Sika show, I don't know what the work is going to look like. I know what it's going to feel like. I know what I want people to feel when they go into that space. And then it's just a matter of finding that visual language. I'm in the midst of all of these blank-ish, red, cadmium red canvases, but I know that they're getting ready to burst into being or to become something. This is the conception phase. I've been obsessed with cadmium red a whole lot, and cadmium red is toxic. It kind of looks like blood and sun mixed together in a very, very weird way. But it's become this, this color that I've been obsessed with. Each time I have an exhibition, I try to challenge myself and think of it as a beginning to a new body of work or a different generation of a certain body of work. And that's what I'm using this opportunity for. It's an experiment for me as well.